Hey guys, I'm Zormo and welcome back to yet another episode of the Old School RuneScape Slayer Encyclopedia. Today we will be covering the Banshee. Uh, let's hop right in. There are four types of Banshees to cover today. We've got the Normal Banshee, the Screaming Banshee, the Twisted Banshee and the Screaming Twisted Banshee. Um, let's hop right in with the standard ones. So they have a combat level of 23. Uh, they have a max hit of 2, although this will be a max hit of 8 if you're not wearing protective gear like earmuffs or a Slayer Helm. Uh, they are aggressive, they cannot poison you, they have an attack speed of 4, they give 22 Slayer XP per kill and they are not immune to poison or venom um, you can find them on the ground floor of the slayer tower there are eight spawns there and again the best way to get to the slayer tower is going to be the slayer ring will teleport you directly outside or you can use the fairy ring code cks and then just run north um, when you're fighting the banshees themselves they do require a slayer level of 15 to kill because they do require earmuffs or a slayer helm um, attempting to fight banshees without this protection um, will result in you taking six damage and having your strats stats drastically reduced. Um, the Banshee's attacks are magic based melee so it's recommended to wear uh, Dragonhide armor for the magic defense that it gives um, and then you can just bring low level food such as Monkfish or Lobsters. Um, you can instead pray melee with prayer boosting gear if you want uh, but prayer potions are a total waste of money here. You can get the task done easily with just some low level food um, so don't don't worry too much about bringing prayer um, they are undead so a salve amulet and crumble undead will work here although the salve amulet does not stack with the slayer helm bonuses so if you've got the slayer helm uh, bring them obviously you can't bring a black mask because you need to wear the earmuffs if you don't have a slayer helm um, a whip or dragon scimitar will cut through these tasks pretty quickly. Um, even a rune scimitar, to be honest, if you're just starting Slayer out and you, you're still using a rune scimitar uh, or a brine saber, you'll be absolutely fine here. Um, and if you really are worried, there is a safe spot near the staircase that leads up to the first floor of the Slayer Tower. Um, you can use to stand in that safe spot and then you can use ranged or crumble on dead on them uh, and that should be no problem at all. Uh, which brings us on to the drops for the normal Banshee. So the average kill is only worth about 310 GP. Not, uh, not a whole lot going on with these guys. They do drop Dark Mystic Gloves at a rate of 1 in 512. Uh, they do drop some runes and, runes and herbs uh, and they drop Easy Clue Scrolls at a rate of 1 in 120. Which moves us on to the Screaming Banshee. So the Screaming Banshee is a superior version of the normal Banshee and it has a chance to spawn after you unlock the bigger and badder purchase for 150 Slayer points from a Slayer Master. Um, so these have a 1 in 200 chance of spawning when you're killing the normal Banshees. They have a combat level of 70, they have a max hit of 7, they're not aggressive, they cannot poison you, they have an attack speed of 4, they give 610 Slayer XP per kill, uh, and they are immune to poison and venom. Uh, you will kill these guys in exactly the same way that you kill normal Banshees, um, with exactly the same gear obviously, because you'll be killing them on a Banshee task. Um, if you do find that you're taking more damage from this creature than the standard Banshees, you can turn on Protect from Melee, and uh, you should be able to get through that no problem at all. Um, if you are just bringing food and not prayer potions then you might want to just you know rather than uh, using your prayer up uh, you might want to save your prayer points just for when the superiors spawn if you're finding that you are taking a bit too much damage from them. Um, now these guys have exactly the same drop table and the same drop rates as the normal banshee but um, because they're the superior creature they will roll three times on the drop table so there is a higher chance of getting the drops kind of. It's like the same it's just all scaled up, right? So, like, for example, the Dark Mystic Gloves have a rate of three times one in 512 rather than just a one-time chance of getting a one in 512. So, yeah, you, you see what I'm trying to say. Um, the average kill is worth about 31.3k at the moment. They do drop easy clues at a rate of one in 12.8, um, and they have a chance of dropping the Eternal Gem and the Imbued Heart. Um, they will drop those at a rate of one in 1,286. So, let's move on to the Twisted Banshees now. Um, the Twisted Banshees have a combat level of 89, they have a max hit of 9, they are aggressive, they cannot poison you, they have an attack speed of 4, they give 100 Slayer XP per kill, and they are not immune to poison or venom. Um, these guys are exclusively found in the Catacombs of Kurend. There are 6 spawns in the southwest corner. Um, the best way to get there is the Xerix Heart Teleport on the Xerix Talisman, um, or you can use the Mysterious Hole Shortcut in the northwest corner of the Shazian area, although you will not be able to enter the Catacombs through the Mysterious Hole until you have exited the Catacombs through the Mysterious Hole from within. Uh, you use the vines to climb up and out, and then you'll be able to climb back down through the hole. So if you haven't unlocked that shortcut, go and unlock it first, then, you, then you'll be able to use it. Uh, when you're actually fighting the Twisted Banshees, uh, again, you must be wearing earmuffs or a Slayer Helm, otherwise you will take 7 damage and your stats will be drained. Um, these guys also use Magical Melee and their attacks are fairly accurate. So if you have high defense and armor with a high magic defense bonus, 
you might be fine just using food, such as sharks. Um, however, it is a multi-combat area, um, and y if you're a lower level especially, you're going to probably want to bring prayer-boosting armor, such as proselyte, and then use protect for melee and prayer potions. Um, there is a safe spot in the walkway between the two rooms that you can use uh, if you're ranging them or using crumble and dead. Um, ranged or melee, I would recommend over crumble and dead though, to be honest. Um, so either using like a blowpipe or even a magic short bow, um, or a whip or a dragon scimitar. Um, and just a final note, it is multi-combat, but you cannot use a dwarf cannon here, so um, don't waste your time bringing that because it will not work. Um, the Twisted Banshees drops um, are actually pretty popular for Iron Men um, because they give good XP rates for their for their level anyway, um, but they do drop a decent number of herbs, uh, noted pure essence, and various rune items. So the average kill of the Twisted Banshee is worth 1.9k. They drop Dark Mystic Gloves again um, at a rate of 1 in 256. They drop Rune Full Helms at a rate of 1 in 128. Uh, they drop Rune Daggers and Rune Medium Helms at a rate of 1 in 64. They drop 65 Noted Pure Essence at a rate of 1 in 6.095. Uh, they drop Hard Clues at a rate of 1 in 128. Uh, and obviously they will have a chance of drop dropping the Dark Totem Piece at a rate of 1 in 391 and an Ancient Shard at 1 in 260 because they obviously are located in the catacombs. Which brings us on to the superior uh, version of the Twisted Banshee called the Screaming Twisted Banshee. Again, you need the bigger and badder unlock for 150 Slayer points to have these guys unlocked and have a chance for them to spawn. They have a combat level of 144, a max hit of 12, they're not aggressive, they cannot poison you, they have an attack speed of 4, they give 2200 Slayer XP per kill, and they are immune to poison and venom. Uh, again, your standard Twisted Banshee gear will be fine to kill these guys because that's what you'll be wearing when they spawn. Um, you might want to turn on Protect from Melee if you're taking too much damage, if, you haven't, if you're not using that already. And their average kill is worth 36.8k. Um, again, they work similarly to the superior version of the standard Banshees, where they'll have the same drop rate and t drop table, but they'll roll three times on it. Um, they do drop hard clues at a rate of 1 in 12.8. They will drop. Uh, they will always drop a dark totem piece, as all superiors in the catacombs do, uh, and they have a chance of uh, 1 in 186 to drop ancient shards as well. Um, finally, the eternal gem and the imbued heart can also be dropped at exactly the same rate as the screaming banshees, uh, 1 in 1286. Um, and that is all the banshees um, in the game. So. Um, that brings us on to the interesting fact. Um, now, I did read on the wiki something about a banshee finger, and I was going to make that the fact, um, but after reading what it was, I think they're going to go with the uh, safer, albeit more boring fact that uh, when banshees are moving around or turning, uh, they will become translucent, but then they go back to becoming solid again when they're standing still, which is kind of creepy, kind of cool, I guess. Um, if you do want to know what a banshee finger is, then by all means, go and have a look on Urban Dictionary. Go find out for yourself. Um, <laughs> it did give me a chuckle, but um, I'll, yeah, we'll go with the, um, the more PG interesting fact, I think. Um, other than that, guys, I have been streaming every day of December so far, and I plan to continue to do this. Uh, so feel free to come hang out in the stream. You can uh, catch up with me on, on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash the Zormo. Can't get my words out today. Um, other than that, guys, again, thank you very much for watching. Um, give me a thumbs up uh, if you like the video. Drop a comment. Feel free to subscribe so you can see when the next one in the series is going to come out. Um, but other than that, guys, again, thank you very much, and I will see you in the next video.